What's this for? We're from, we're a crew from Sydney, from the States as well. Um, we're discovering Malaysia. Discovering Malaysia? Yes. What have you discovered? Discover Indulgence is this interesting project. It really is about understanding Malaysia and learning about Malaysia, discovering the wonders of this country. We're in famous Chow Kit. Chow Kit is one of the most uh, incredible markets here in KL. This is my second time to Chow Kit and as you can see the colours, the smells, you can only be here. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. For me, when I visit a city, I make it a priority that I visit a market. You see local produce, you see how it varies from different countries, and that's the wonder of a market. Any fresh food, fruit, uh, vegetable market is really the essence of a city. It is the soul of a city. These are really, <laughs> These are really interesting fruits. They're called rose apples. Um, they sort of take on the shape, I mean, the tops and the bottoms of apples, but the taste of these are just incredible. You're not hot? You're not hot? Hot. Not hot? Hot. That's sweet. Yeah, you don't know what I say. Can you see it? The KL Towers. Thank you! All the best Thank you very much! We're at the Bajaya Times Square Hotel and we are going to go into the shopping centre and we are going to go into the theme park! The, the biggest shopping centre we've got in Australia, or in Sydney anyway, is about six floors at the most. I think this is going to about ten floors, I don't know. Apparently 900 shops at this Times Square. So here we are, Supersonic Odyssey roller coaster. That's a real roller coaster, and that, that's not a little kitty roller coaster in a mall. That is a serious, nasty looking roller coaster. Family package, two adults, two children, 138 Malaysian ringgits to go through all of these, roughly about 45 Australian dollars. That's a pretty good deal. Bye. Malaysia, it is a melting pot. It is a melting pot of these amazing cultures and the religion also comes out of the cultures. And going to the Batu Caves, <laughs> um, this famous Hindu shrine, to get up to the top of the caves, 272 stairs. It's, it's definitely an experience that anyone should see. Malaysia is a predominantly Muslim country, but it is so tolerant of other religions um, in its country. And because of you know it's got a huge Indian population, so naturally there'll be a lot of Hindus. And for you know these Hindus to be practicing their religion quite openly and quite freely, I think that's wonderful. From Australia. 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 Oh my god, I can't believe you guys see me. No, it's right. Oh, 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 I'm speechless right now. Oh, oh. no, no. <laughs> okay, have a nice day.
every major city I think of, I mean Sydney, you think of London, you think of um, New York, you know, everyone knows about Chinatown. And in Kuala Lumpur, it's got its own little Chinatown. And this little Chinatown is, it's just bursting out with red colors. And um, the shopping there is great. You know, you want cheap knickknacks, that's the place to go. And not only that, it's got the Chinese influenced street food too. It is extremely hot and humid here. And the best way to get rid of that is to get some really nice tropical fruit. And there's a lot of these little stalls around Malaysia, um, fresh fruit cut up, and the tropical fruit here is unreal. Thank you. Oh yeah, you've got a Nessie! How are you? Really good, how are you? Good, good. Thank you. So as an Aussie, yes. are you enjoying kale? Loving it, it's yeah. amazing. We've been living here for... Uh, oh, you live here? Yeah, we live here. Oh, excellent, we've excellent. We've been here for a bit, a bit over a year. I think as Aussies, we all, we, all, we, you know, we go for the cheap holidays to Thailand. Yeah, and yeah. Bali. Everyone knows Thailand, Thailand and, and Bali. Bali. Yeah. yeah. So I think this is a little secret that not a lot of Australians know about. Yeah. So kind of open it up. We're doing our best to try bring uh, bring them across to come and visit excellent. us as yeah. much as we can. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Can I get really a photo with you? Of course you Excellent. Well, lovely to meet you both. Yeah, you too. Yeah, and I hope awesome. your guests enjoy the, um, the trip too. They're shopping lots now. <laughs> oh, good, good. Bye. Bye. Let me now please welcome Aminia, finalist for MasterChef Australia, to come okay, to welcome. the front of the room. The evening that we had at the Bajaya Hotel, I mean, that was a really lovely launch dinner. The response we had there was amazing. People were so entertained. They really enjoyed what we did. The food was wonderful. Oh, I, I don't know, you guys can't smell anything, but it smells great in here. What have you got here? To have these two celebrity chefs do this one dish, but okay. in two different manners, I think it was a wonderful um, way of exhibiting Malaysian cuisine, both old and new. Look at that guys, all finished, traditional rundog. Well done chef, thank you. This is what you get in Malaysia. Look at the size of those fish. Tonight is, I guess, one of the most exciting parts of the trip. 